It's a windy day and ride. I'm just gonna take you through a little tour of my gym. All right, let's start with the squat rack. So I've got a PowerTech squat rack. Um, got a little platform that I made last weekend. Pretty good, homemade. Saved me a couple of hundred bucks, which is good. Uh, got a tire, as you can see, just outside. Really good, just for flipping. And yeah, adds a bit of variance to the equipment that I've got. Uh, funny enough. I've got a keg, um, really fine for clean and pressing, things like that. It's much harder to press opposed to a barbell. Speaking of barbells, I've got an ABC power bar. Really good bar. Uh, it will most definitely last me a lifetime. Uh, moving over to the plates. I just upgraded. I bought the Rogue Color Training Plates. Um, these are pretty cool. They're actually the same plates that were used in the CrossFit Games in 2016. I don't know if you can see that. I've got a couple of bumpers here, 10s, and some 25 pounders. Sorry, 25 kilos. Moving up to the top, I've got some kettlebells going all the way from 4 through to 12, 16. Two 16s and a 20. Pretty big on my mobility and things like that, so I've got myself a rumble roller that I use quite religiously. And some of the new things that I've actually got recently, let's have a look. This is a Battle Star. You can get them on uh, Rogue. Um, great for mobility. Uh, I've got another ball. This is a Supernova. Once again, really good for uh, mobility type exercises, especially trigger point work. I'm really big on that. More foam rollers at the top. And there's some balls there, as you can see. And then I've got another rack in here. This is just a bit of a lighter rack. Pretty easy to move around. Got another generic barbell. Nothing too special about this one. Which is pretty cool. What do I have in here? I've got a power wheel. This is really good for our core. You can do some great things with it as well. I've got some specialty bars. So I've got a Swiss bar, and I've got a thicker axle fat bar, which is really good for that grip strength. Let me move over. Got some benches. One there, one there. Over. I've got a glute ham raise. Uh, use that quite a fair bit. Got some t-shirts, I got them about a week ago, but they're pretty cool, so they're for clients, myself as well, and just for friends. And we're coming over here. I've got some of my bodybuilding trophies from when I started bodybuilding. Let's have a look there. That was my first trophy I got, came second. Another second place trophy. And the last one was a first place trophy. Um, that was both, all of those trophies were in the INBA Federation, so good times. I mean, dumbbells, they go from 7.5 kilos all the way through to 47 and a half kilo dumbbells. Let's move in, I've got a picture with the bad Elliot Holtz. I met him last year. When I travelled to America, I did a bit of travelling over there. That was definitely a memorable moment for me. Some pictures coming down down here. This machine here, this is a PowerTech multi-station machine. So most of the time when I'm on this, I'm doing it for say lap pull downs. Um, and things are like that. But yeah, guys, this is pretty much my little garage gym that I've been setting up for the past year or so. And I've got a bit of riding, I did that riding. So essentially what it is is just heaps of quotes that I really liked and then just painted them all on. 
got, got them a little bit in red, and I got some in dark grey as well. Not looking for that kind of fancy gym environment where there's mirrors packed everywhere. I want to try to vary and be different to those corporate gyms, I should say. Yeah, that is pretty much the gist 